Good morning everyone. This is Jackie with Paper Cuts and I have a close-up here. This is a Mixed Media Monday and what we're going to do be doing today is decoupaging the top of my chest that I've been working on and I thought well, you know that would be a good little video for you all to watch and uh, we won't get it all finished in this episode but uh, we'll finish uh, hopefully on Friday. So I thought uh, you could watch me how I do my mixed media. I have uh, my napkins here and I am going to use my water brush pen to uh, go around the flowers here and take them <clears throat> from the napkin and then we're going to lay them out on our chest and then you can see uh, as I form my decoupage. I have three different napkins that I just purchased um, from All Supplies. Oh gosh, I'll have to put the link down below. I forgot her name. But they're beautiful, so I'm going to use this rose pattern. It's got uh, these little pink butterflies on it, and this is for my shabby chic bedroom. And then I have, I have my fan on because it's already 100 degrees here, and it's like 9.30 in the morning, so things are blowing a little bit, but once we get started, it should settle down. Then I have this pattern uh, that has a bird on it. Uh, let me see if we can, there you go. Um, that I'm gonna use some of these little viney roses in the uh, design. And then last but not least, I have <clears throat> this flower and it's got a little bit of lavender and some mint green in it. So I'm gonna use those as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take my napkin and then I have several of these water brush pens you can buy. I think it's a set of three or four on Amazon. And um, you just fill them with water and then the brush is water and I find that when I'm decoupaging if I go around my napkin with some water it makes it easier to tear out and get the design that I want and it blends in better with whatever I'm decoupaging on. So I'm just lightly going around the outside of where I'm going to tear it. And then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. I hope not everybody has this awful heat that we have here up in the high desert. But... Um, Thank God for air conditioning, right? And fans. So I don't know if you can see as I'm tearing out where the water, where I put the water. Um, and you want to do it before the water d dries, of course. But it just makes it easier to get around the design. And I'm just pulling it up part and um, putting a little pressure on it not a lot so I see a little spot I missed with my water and then just going around it so basically I can just then get the design that I want to use and then you can go back in if there's anything that you missed and just tear it out uh, 
I didn't want to pre tear these because I did want to show you how I do it and many others do it so that you know that you can do it. So there we go, we have one flower. Now this particular napkin is textured on the edges, which I think once I get it decoupaged down, it won't show as much. So I'm gonna just kind of place it and um, I'm gonna put just a little bit of water on my chest um, until I get a few more flowers cut out. Because we can't really start laying flowers down until we have all the flowers that we want. Um, so I'm going to, after I do this flower, I'm gonna pause the camera until I get all my flowers torn out from the napkin and then we'll lay them down and then I'll show you how I decoupage. So we'll do one more on camera and then I hope you, this isn't too in your face. I wanted the close up because the I have this all set up in my living room right now and I didn't want all these extra distractions of furniture and stuff that you would see around me so and I'm just taking my time because I want to make sure I get the full flower And the background on this one is um, kind of a pinky, rosy color, which is perfect because my chest, uh, I posted on uh, Facebook the other day, is pink and... Um, I'm using, going to be using it as a vanity uh, in my shabby chic bedroom. So, I got a little crazy with my water here. <clears throat> At first it wasn't coming out and then now it's pouring. Excuse me. <clears throat> the wind has kicked up here as well as the heat. And of course, there's something in the air that makes me all scratchy. So I did blow my nose and all of that before I got started, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to get an itchy throat. So there's one more. So basically what I'm going to do is my, my hand is off to the right here, I hope you can see, and I'm going to be designing this way. And then down the front, and then I'm going to also do the back of the chair and the front of the chair. So everything looks all cozy. So uh, now that I have two, I am uh, gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna cut out the rest of my flowers and then we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I am gonna start over here on the very right side. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera so you can see. Um, and then I'm slowly going to work my way this way across the chest. And so first what I'm going to do is just put down some decoupage glue. We'll end up doing the whole 
chest, top of the chest in the decoupage glue, but right now I'm just laying down a base of glue so that once I lay down my napkin, then I have enough on my brush to go over the top. So this is going to be a kind of a slow process, but um, we will eventually get it down. So I put my napkin down and then I just with the decoupage glue that I have on my brush, I'm going over the napkin and trying to smooth it out just a little bit. If it has some crinkles in it, it just gives it character. And so I'm not overly worrying about it being perfectly flat. This was a metal chest to begin with, and so it's got ridges in it and all of that. So this way I can kind of keep some of the character in the chest, but I'm just lightly going over the napkin, getting any bubbles out that I can, and then I'll place down my second decoupage flower. So you can barely see it off to the right there, but now once I start placing my other flowers down, you'll be able to see my pattern. And it just, the, because you're using a napkin, it just kind of sinks in to the chest. Making sure I got enough glue on the back side to adhere it. And then slowly brushing it down. You have to be very gentle when you're brushing uh, because if you don't, then um, it tears the napkin. So yeah, there's a little crinkles in it here and there, but that's okay because once the decoupage glue dries, then it will look like it's part of the chest. I'm just putting a little more over my napkin. Um, I don't know if it's from the heat, but my decoupage glue has been getting these little clumps in it. Okay, I boo-booed that, so I'm just going to scrape it off and I have my paper towel off to the left here. So this is kind of a slower process, but just be patient with yourself and slowly work where you want your design to be. So here where I boo-booed, I'm going to just place another napkin over it. And that's from brushing too hard. So that'll teach me, right? <laughs> So I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that the heat uh, variation from where I keep my glue has created the clumpiness.
but lightly brush it. Get your design down. And I'll probably be going back and filling in in some areas. Just not sure how I want this one. Yeah, I think I like it there. So when you initially put down your decoupage glue, you can brush your brush a little harder, but then you have to lighten up. I think what I'm going to do is just put it on my brush. Maybe that way I won't push so hard. And then once the glue, the first tier of glue dries, then you can go back over it and get a smoother surface. So I'll keep working along the chest and then um, I will show you towards the end what the top of the chest looks like. And then on Friday, we'll go ahead and finish it off, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So here's the top of the chest, all the way from the right. And then I'm gonna slowly move it down. I'm not finished entirely. I'm gonna put a few more lavender roses in but hopefully you can see now the pattern and then I'm carrying it down the front of the chest and then I'll go all the way down with the flowers almost to the leg and then um, I'll be finished so I hope you enjoyed Mixed Media Monday today. I hope you got some ideas to uh, do other things besides your junk journaling, but <clears throat> uh, using mixed media. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.